so I'm in my old neighborhood where my, where my parents live. Today I'm going to try to uh, see if I can walk from my parents' house to my place downtown. Google says it's about 2 hours and 58 minutes. So I'll vlog a bit as I do that. It's sunny today. Last night I was watching some David Icke videos and uh, he's definitely out there and uh, there's definitely some truth to what he's saying but there's also some reaching I think like trying to piece together things where it's not like his conclusions aren't true but he's getting he's getting somewhere but what I admire about him is that he 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 went forward with what he believed and he continues to do that and uh, like you know that's all you got to do is keep saying your truth and the world adapts around you and uh, he started off saying he was the messiah also like back in the 90s and then he went through it and he got to where he is now and in that video I saw yesterday he had like a audit like a tons of people uh, watching his thing that paid for a seat in this like big hall where he was just giving a presentation so he's successful the world is so big that you'll get uh, people that will connect with your message as long as you stay true and keep saying what you what you believe so that's great. Last night while I was sleeping, I was thinking how we're just surrounded by God and everything is love. And we just hesitate with fear and stuff. So, I was thinking how there's, there's nothing stopping us except our hesitation so just to, to fight the fear bring your light out keep doing that back to the David Icke thing like just uh, understanding that in my case yeah, like it's a guarantee that a substantial amount of people won't agree with me and will think I'm nuts, but that's okay. As long as I keep just trusting my inner self and following that, that's all that matters. So, I'll keep uh, checking in at various points in the journey today to show and see where I'm at. And then uh, I'll keep punching punching in with it, the next kind of thought and we'll see how much uh, how much uh, room I got video wise to cap capture this three hour walk I'm doing alright peace love you it's amazing how every decision and choice that you make affects everything infinitely and uh, like everything is connected, every single human is constantly in connection with each other. Every single moment is in constant connection with each other. Once you decide to do something, we're all in the shared collective reality of the choice you took. We can never be somewhere else. So it's like you have infinite power of a complete universal influence by every little minute choice you make as it's wild so you really are like a super powerful mega bean it's a beautiful day today sunday right now i'm on keller I'm on 
the street where I used to have to walk a lot to get to my bus stop when I used to live here, go to school. I should have, uh, should have dropped out of university. I'm not going to give advice, but university is a joke. You're much better off following your truth than doing what you got to do. I realize, like, I squint a lot. My eyes are kind of, like, not super straight. I think it's because I'm, like, constantly underneath, like, a higher truth. Like, because I'm avoiding, I'm kind of, like, under it. That's my theory. I'll check in later. Yesterday, I was thinking how I have to start, uh, truly and wholly respecting myself and my body like making myself like a true vehicle of God and treating my body like absolute height of importance eat healthy and drink water and uh, hopefully move towards treating my time like absolute importance in terms of serving God and uh, the, focusing on the now in terms of I think we all spend so much time in our minds and all our potential and our mind just gets kind of spent inside itself so focusing on this thing, this shared thing, and uh, realizing that that's the highest reflection of what matters. Your thoughts and potential don't matter. The shared collective reality is what matters. So to focus on that, on where it is, on be honest about what it what it is and what it's at, and move your energy towards that and within that. That's where I am today. This is the street I'm on. What it looks like. It's a super nice day. It's also cool how uh, when you're doing something like everything and everyone that you interact with as you're doing it, like it equates to like a significance in their uh, journey. And so everything, uh, I find like it kind of proves a higher power with everything. Because I'm just being told like, oh, film right now and say your message and other people like there's tons of other people around who would be seeing like a person filming and then get an idea or a reason to think something in relation to that and that's not my doing you know like I'm just being I'm just doing my job so I find I find that very uh, amazing how when you're told to do something like you're told for multiple reasons uh, not just your own personal reason so that's cool right now I'm on Marcel Lorraine gorgeous day man supremely beautiful so I'm here uh, in front of like a mosque I was thinking, like I made videos and stuff in front of churches and mosques, but I was thinking how better to just be my own thing, not have to be it in relation to churches and mosques. I was thinking how 
Elon said something like enlightenment of the species would be the best like ideal to aim for. But I think I think everyone has to like see their own thing. I'm not sure how much someone could like enlighten others. I was thinking how we have like tendency to uh, defend or protect ourselves but when you're in your truth you don't have to do that you could just uh, like let let it speak for itself let it be for itself it doesn't need to be defended it's like all automatic and it automatically takes care of itself I'm on uh, Marcel Ray still I should have turned on Henry Brasa according to the, the uh, directions that Google gave me for like the fastest way. But I just was walking on this out of habit. But I'll see. I'll see if I if I make it in the three hours as it thought I would. I'll check in again. As I was walking, I just saw like a family member in a car uh, driving by. And it's a cool like, reminder how everything is connected in the community and with your family and shit. You're always connected, especially when you're in the same city. But it's good, you know. You could be who you are and uh, everyone will adapt, including friends and family. Uh, the universe adapts to you all the time. And it's on your side, as Kanye says. You're meant to follow your truth and be the real you. So I checked uh, about some some different directions because of how I walked, and uh, I'm still on pace to get home in about two hours and a half. I'll keep updating. I want to talk about the realization that there's like no one else here but us, and like there's no higher authority towards what you should be doing or could be doing other than you like sometimes i'll see a girl or and i'll think about like what could happen next and then i'll think about like what others will think and who will see and shit but we're already like it's already all being seen and thought of Like you're, you're the leader of your story. Back to like uh, what you think about yourself and needing validation. You don't need a validation from others and you'll never get that. Uh, it doesn't matter really. If you trust and feel what you think and say, uh, then the validation uh, will come from some and will never come from others and you don't need it as long as you you just have to keep doing what you do I think that a good reminder for myself to keep doing what I'm being told to do by God or my higher self is just what I had said earlier about how your job like connects and helps other people even though you don't realize it so just trust like the reason why you're doing it and that god slash the universe constantly is in control and knows what's best and is taking care of itself so you can just keep doing your job or else you just get caught up in the thoughts the potentials and shit So I'm kind of uh, close, but not that close. I think I've been walking for like half an hour. I'm approaching O'Brien Street. And then I'll go down uh, O'Brien for a while. It's pretty uh, fun and enjoyable walk so far. I feel like I could do I could do it for quite some time longer. 
just do shit, man. The time will pass anyways, and everyone's opinion about what you're doing is just to validate and justify what they're doing, like, which is usually nothing. So I'm on O'Brien now, I'm gonna keep walking. Cut through, like, Graham Street, I think it's called. And, uh, keep walking until, like, park and then walk up the mountain and I'll be back in my area. What I keep coming back to is privacy when I think about leading the life that I'm leading. My own and others, but I believe the purpose for us to be here is to get our internal out, live our truth, say our truth, and elevate our condition by being who we really are. So in that case, privacy would be obsolete or unneeded or a proper deterrent, but it's odd that like I'm obviously not in a bubble, I'm connected to other people, and so whatever I would say about them publicly would be public. Like, what I mean to say is, like, privacy isn't your own in a way, like, you're connected to everyone all the time, anyways. I've spoken about this a lot. But you just gotta keep doing, because when you're doing, you can't be doubting. And when you're doing, it all takes care of itself. When you're in your mind, you're dying. Here's the beautiful street I'm on right now. It's a quiet Sunday. I have a theory that when you create something, there's a certain energy, vibration, and frequency on the thing that you create, which attracts other people that kind of need to see that, or for whatever reason, like, you'll often stumble upon something like quote unquote by chance but I think that there's like a energy field like beyond how we understand and perceive the 3D world like there's a there's a frequency of vibration to that piece that attracts you to it and you find it without kind of understanding what what you're doing to get to it kind of thing like what you need to see and interact with will hit you. I'm on uh, Saint Croix. I'm near Vanier College. I'm still like a good like two hours away, but feel good. Feel good. Maybe less than two hours now. Patience and long-term thinking and following God. That are those are the main things that I want to align with. <clears throat> is the realization that everything and everyone is God and that in communicating to it in everyday life you're always kind of communicating to God so I want to be more about that all the time to everyone and everything in my life I have more of an intention of following that light I took a little seat there under the bridge for some shade because like the sun on my head was getting to me a bit. I got, uh, I think less than two hours. It was cool, you know. Three hour walk, get yeah, all the way from Cartsayville to central downtown. Pretty cool. I've now reached to the 40, which is also called the Metropolitan. It's a highway elevated in the air pretty old and looks like it's falling apart from the bottom like most of the infrastructure in Montreal uh, maximum on it is 70 kilometers Google says I got an hour and 45 minutes left of my walk I'm gonna cut through the street called Graham and it's gonna hit uh, something called Rockland Street and then that's gonna hit uh, I'm not sure but 
kind of cutting through some neighborhoods to get to uh, where I live. In the David Icke thing I was watching, it was like a, there was a part where it was reminding us about how like we're swimming in infinite possibilities like with our mind and our dreams being the only kind of like no limit right but we're fed fear and doubt and shit through the paradigm that we're in to like forget our divinity. And it's wild like it's like absolutely 100% true. All you have to do is fight the fear that you're holding and you realize and remember that there's nothing holding you back. But you have to fight the fear because the resistance, uh, the resistance is real. If you if you do take too long to fight the fear, like your stagnation and the momentum there is real. So you have to fight it. I'll talk later. <clears throat> All right, I have about an hour and a half left, but I'm taking a break in this nice park on this nice bench. So I'm like uh, about an hour away. I'm on Graham, about to turn on Rockland Street. I'm kind of feeling a little tired when you're doing a project or a adventure, an excursion, you reach that I think maybe like 75% of the way in and then you get the tire. But you gotta push through that, that's like the most important part. Alright, see you soon. So I'm nearing the home stretch here. I'm on Code St. Catherine, just gonna hit park and I'll be home in like half an hour. Definitely lost some energy. Was going deep in my mind again, and my feeling was like, Oh no, you can't stay in your mind, you gotta get out, gotta get out, you press record. So, we'll see what happens today. I'll probably do a couple more updates for this three hour walk. You are the words you say, you are the things you actually do. You're not what you think about, you're what you're actually doing. Almost there. I just want to say again, like, trust the force driving you forward. You don't have to rationalize it or make sense of it, just trust it. You gotta trust it. Now we've reached beautiful Mount Royal on a beautiful Sunday. It's gonna be pretty packed with peeps because it's Sunday and it's nice. And there's the Thames. I'll walk by the Thames where we try to get a shot of that. This is the same street that I walked on when I met that guy. Uh, it'll be tough to explain. There was a guy with a camera talking about like higher level shit and his friend was filming him by the mountain and then I just started to tell him like my truth about how I think I'm the one and I'm the top thing that's gonna unite and all this shit and we were talking about different power leaders in the world and what would need to happen and whatever but we were walking on the street after when we were saying goodbye so I'm reminded of that moment I'll try to capture the towns So I'm at the time, this is quite some activity. I'm so like sun stroked and tired because of the sun and the walk, I guess. I'm just gonna continue walking. But some good vibes there. Collectivity and community and happiness and peace and people and music and oneness. Down on that other side of the street, there's some people playing uh, volleyball and shit. Beach volleyball. Mad in shape. Nearly home. It's 
quite something, this walk. <laughs> Not sure if you caught it probably before, so I'll try to show it more now. This is an open field here. Can't wait to get home and shower, stretch, change, and then see what I'm doing with some songs and potentially some public performances. Just because God wants it, see if I have enough of a voice and balls to do what he wants. We're in the home stretch here. I'm on Jean Mons, which is like one street away from my cross street, which is St. Femme. And I feel like I'm finally coming home, finally did it. You just keep going and you get to where you're going. As long as you don't stop. This is Jean Moore Street in the neighborhood I'm in. We think like the place that we live or where we're at belongs to us or it's like belongs to people and stuff, but every, it doesn't belong to anyone. It's just we're all just passing through. You can always just grab it and do what you want with it because that's what you're born to do. Bang. Final streets. Like one block away from my place. Did it. I feel like if you keep moving, you don't get stuck in your mind and like let the doubt creep in and the hesitation. You keep moving, you can keep doing. And that's what we're here to do, is the doing. This is my neighborhood and shit. It's like... It's a dead... New Orleans. It's like pizza place. And this is my place. We did it. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shower now and upload that to Vimeo. So follow on Vimeo if you wanna continue.